Boxing Ego Quick Hits. Ego? Ego, E-G-O, Boxing Ego. Boxing Ego. Boxing Did you spell it? <laughs> Ryan Garcia says he's going to be shooting a movie coming up, and he promises a knockout against Javier Fortuna. That's what he's predicting. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let me get into the Ryan Garcia quotes. Quote, I can't wait for you guys to see my fight this Saturday. I'm inspired to do something amazing. How many rounds for Saturday? If I could make an honest prediction, there are many outcomes that could happen in this fight. There is a high chance this man, Javier Fortuna, gets knocked out. And if you're looking for an exciting punch that blows you away, watch the fight on Saturday. There are two options for him to end up at. He either ends up on his face or on his back. Those are the only two options, so I'll be looking forward to it. He said he's going to rip my heart out and split my face. I definitely can't go there and take him lightly if he wants to do some crazy things, but he might walk into the wrong. My deepest fear is that I don't accomplish what I want to accomplish in life. But then again, I don't have fear. I try to live in truth. I try to see things and try to accept what I can't control and what I can't control and then let it fly. I'm going to be shooting a movie soon, probably after my fight in December. So that's what he's saying. I'm going to win my fight with Fortuna. I'll go live after my fight and I'll talk to you guys after I knock this dude out, etc. Now, listen, I feel like with Ryan Garcia, he may have good a good heart and good intentions, but this social media stuff it's like the saying goes, the same things that make you laugh, make you cry. It's the same thing that built Ryan Garcia is also what hurts him in the eyes of many boxing fans is like the social media angle. I remember Golden Boy and every time DAZN had a Ryan Garcia fight, that's one thing they would make sure to highlight is that he has 8 million plus followers on Instagram. And I don't know if that's gotten to his head or whatever the situation is, but it, it's getting bad because it, Ryan's whole shtick is becoming talking. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe he knocks out Fortuna, you know, then what? Fortuna is 33 years old, comes from a smaller weight division. And the reality is people wanted to see you fight him last year in July. And then you pulled out of the fight saying you had anxiety, which is never before really even heard of. Buster Douglas's mom passed away weeks before his Mike Tyson fight, and he went and pulled one of the biggest upsets, you know, despite the bereavement and everything else. He just went in and pulled one of the massive upsets and biggest upsets in boxing history. So, you know, this we're in a new time and generation with cancel culture and the PC police. And now this is what they're trying to usher into boxing is like pulling out of fights for anxiety. Listen, I got anxiety right now doing this video. You know, at the end of the day, you guys won't care. Do, does anyone care? You, you're coming to YouTube to hear me record a video and give you the boxing news. You're not going to be like, oh, you know, egos in a bad mood or you know, egos going through a breakup or you care about the work and the content. I'm here to curate content. I'm a full time content creator. You know what I mean? And Ryan, his job, the profession he chose and got into is to fight, you know, and it's just a lot of predictions and knocking out people and hasn't got past Fortuna. And he's talking about going live and shooting movies and fighting Gervonta Davis. It just it becomes a bit much. And at one point when he first got with Goosen, he, he looked like he was almost like a little bit humbled or maybe Goosen or somebody had got in his ear and said like, hey, chill out. Because even after his last fight with Emmanuel Togos, he said, oh, I'm not really going to do the call outs because I'm not here to lie to you. And then five minutes later, he there's an interview on YouTube where he's calling out Javante Davis. And it's just like, when will it end? You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I don't think people want to hear about it. They want to see about it. You know what I'm saying? So his last fight, he fought some random African and the fight was really boring. And he has the nerve to call Devin Haney boring and, you know, talk about the next person's performance. And, you know, he's saying he's going to rip Javier Fortuna's head off or face down, butt up or, you know, whatever he's saying. 
And it's like, you didn't. Why didn't you do this in your last fight? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, let, just let us see what happens. Let me know how excited you are for this particular fight. You know, do you enjoy this? Like, I, I understand theatrics and showmanship, but it's just, I guess it's a way. Like, Prince Nassim is one of my favorite fighters of all time. And there's just a method of doing it. Like, Prince Nassim didn't just go to the media and, you know, say a million quotables and things like that. Ryan's going on Mike Tyson talking about fighting against Tank Davis, and we still haven't seen the fight. You know, he's going on social media saying the tank fight is over. And he's fighting Pacquiao. We still haven't seen the fight. You know what I'm saying? So it becomes a lot. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. That's my honest opinion. Let me know what you guys think of Ryan Garcia doing all these, I guess, engagements or interacting with the fans. As always, SLC, subscribe, like, comment, and I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.